Hey, this is Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. This is, uh, we're wrapping up this 97 Four Winds. We've did uh, the main top. Uh, we showed you how to do the, the, the complete creation of it from the bindings to uh, the one inch double-sided bias tape to matching buttons to the thread, Tech 90, Forest Green, um, beautiful, wouldn't you agree? Beautiful top stitching. Showed you how to do this. And uh, you need to relax when you tear into these jobs. See it for what it is. Tear, get used to tearing apart existing patterns, okay? And remember how I trace them out, how to adjust. Because as time goes on, see how perfect these are? These will, uh, you know, over time, whether I try not to tax mine, but on the front, they will a little bit. Uh, it, it might, um, I, don't, I don't do mine real, real tight like everybody does. There's really no need for it. You shouldn't have to fist fight your top to get it on. And you're going to have a little sag you know, so you can put your tent pole in like up here and uh, um, it'll, it'll avoid, like when, when I'm talking about tracing a pattern, how you're tracing around and it'll dip out on every snap. The guy's trying to be too big of a rock star and get it just, you know, tight as a drum. I think that's um, unnecessary. I mean, do you want to fight your top every time you want to put it on? You know, I mean, you have the tools, but still you tax everything. Let it float. Let it float. That's just my opinion. Moving on. <clears throat> Here we go. So last night we had a torrential down, uh, a downpour and the top performed perfectly. It uh, <clears throat> like, okay, there was a lot of wrinkles in it, but I know how fabric works and, uh, it has memory. So put it on tight. We got a good storm. This thing, you know, it rained buckets last night. We must have got three inches here in, in the northern Washington state. Uh, you know, we're to east of Seattle, about 350 miles. Uh, anyway, this just, it, it just solidified everything. So it worked out perfect because I have to put the snaps in the carpet. And that's what we're doing right now. This is the carpet install. So um, we're going to... You know, look how gentle that comes off. All these snaps, they just, they come off so, it's just, it's, it's great. It's the way it should be. Your top, you should not have to fight your top. And if you have someone do a top to where you need a, you know, they have these aluminum tools to where you can stick it on the edge of your snap and, and pull it. Well, I mean, they're nice to have. And, and I recommend everyone does have them, but you shouldn't have to beat yourself up a fist fight to get your top on. Because everybody wants it perfect. Yes, it has to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be, you know, a nightmare. So, here we go. We'll come up on this end here. Bring this up, and then I'll go on the other side here. Once we get going, I'm going to just show you a few steps on how to do this. So in this particular boat, now if you look down in here, that's our carpet, okay? I'll vacuum it out and stuff, but it's brand new carpet and it, it has the one inch double-sided bias tape all the way around the entire perimeter and it goes way up into the bow. So it's basically the same thing. Once you, you've traced your pattern, you saw that video where I traced the pattern. I laid it out on the concrete out there because uh, I could have done it on my table, but a lot of people don't have huge tables if you're doing it yourself. That's why I did that, because you got a driveway, okay? So this is, this is like meat and potato stuff. Like, how am I going to make this happen at, at where I live? I don't have a huge upholstery shop, okay? That's why I did that, if you remember when I traced it out. So anyway, uh, this these videos are made so like real life videos, you know, not a bunch of fancy music and 
and pomp and circumstance. This is meat and potatoes. This is really what you're gonna run across. So I'm gonna done, I'm done running my mouth here. So let me get up in here. Now, when you're doing, when you're doing these, uh, any boat that you do, I recommend always having a bunch of degreaser, okay? And uh, 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 rolls of paper towels and you don't have to clean someone else's boat. Now you look at this, this was here before. This dirt, this boat was dirty, okay? She was rocking this all summer and didn't clean it at all, but I'm gonna go through it and wipe it all down because I mean, brand new top, brand new carpet. Yes, I'll vacuum it and I'll go and I'll swab her boat down. That's a service that I recommend you do not charge these people for. This is an expensive service and they'll never forget, um, you know, uh, that kindness. And, and when you're doing this, always remember, this is a treat for people. And you too, if you've ever had something really nice when you have it done. You know, love them up. I, I power washed her boat in her transom for free. Uh, do these things. If you have um, the option to do so, if you own a pressure washer or whatever. So anyway, <clears throat> moving on, we're doing snaps. So remember how I told you? <laughs> remember, this is a nine inch base. This is a five inch top. And when you give it a twist, it extends to 67 inches, okay? Wah, 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 wah. I know I'm a dork, but at least I don't have my sticker on my glasses today. <laughs> so, uh, remember the pocket that I told you how I made the pocket? Remember how I came off just a little bit? Uh, see this, this five inch, how that slips in there? Okay, now I can reach over to the other side. So it slips right in there and then it comes up, okay? And you can adjust, put your knee on it, slip it right in that pocket, okay? And then give it a twist and then you've got your height. Okay, but you have to adjust sometimes. You might have to come down to like right, like right about here. So when you pull your top back, see so you got your tent pole in there, so it'll hold. I'm losing tools all over the place. So there we go. We're gonna take the tent pole out of here. I know. I'm, uh, will you set this down there, please? Thank you. So, on this particular top, again, I apologize, I'm new at videos, but I'm really good at what I do. I know that. I don't have to sound like a snob or anything. So, you just roll this back. Okay, bring it to your top. Now, here's our, our carpets in here. We're gonna undo the transition that goes from back here to the bow. It's a snap. She used to have a gap in there. They had some hokey thing that they'd made. You don't need all that nonsense. Straightforward. I'll, get, I'll, I'll take the phone. I'm doing this with my phone. We bought a YouTube camera and my phone works better. <laughs> so, okay. And look at this, this is bone dry. This is bone dry. That wreck and crow kept this thing. This just sloughed off so nice. Great product. Anyway, I traced this on my concrete slab out there to show you. And we went around with the one inch bias tape that we went around on the tops, both, both tops, the, the main top and the bow. So see that all the way around. And it has a rubber, a rubber backing, and uh, it has these minute perforations to where um, a evaporation can take place, and you will not have mold or you know standing water, and your carpet won't be wet. 
if you just wanted to go for a putt in your boat. I call it a putt because I like riding motorcycles, but you want to go for a, a, I don't know, what would it be called in a boat? A cruise. You want to go for a cruise? Um, your socks won't, you can wear socks. Jump into your boat. Anyway, it, it'll evaporate. So I, I traced this whole elaborate pattern out and it is elaborate. Wow, it's one piece. One piece goes around the seats, up under the drivers, up under the passengers and extends into the bow. Okay, so what we have to do is, is these snaps. <sighs> so you, you'll want to, don't be alarmed by the dust and stuff in here. This is brand new. But when you're doing something like this to where it's a one piece carpet and it, and it extends into the bow up here in front into that, that little cave, you, uh, I would recommend starting at the bow, centering it, snapping your hole, putting in your snap, securing your snap, okay? And then working your way back. Okay, do, 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 to the back. Then you cannot fail. And in some of these applications, different thicknesses of carpets exist. This is a thinner carpet. She spoke of the heat that was um, radiating from her carpet. There, it was hot on their feet, and, and, and she did not like that. So I went with the same durability, but a thinner weave, okay? And, and the same perforation for as far as evaporation goes and, and uh, water, uh, gathering of water. You're in a boat, you know, there's gonna be water. So, um, we went with a thinner carpet. I think she made a, a, good, a good choice. And I encouraged her to do so. Um, so, this won't be as hot. This will be a better, a better carpet. It still will be warm. It still will be, you know, you got a 90, 100 degree day. But uh, we'll have to maybe hook her up with a top, a little bimini of some sort. But I hadn't asked her, but apparently she's some kind of skier or tuber or boogie boarder. Uh, <laughs> telling you, boating. So let's go from there. We have one little island piece, okay? And, and, and basically, basically, you just center them. You center them. You start like, and in this application, you start in, in the bow and then you work your way back and then you spread everything. And around the edges, you're gonna run across um, you, you, uh, different kinds of, of carpets and, and different thicknesses, they'll lay different. They have a weight about them. So you might have to add a couple stud anchors, okay? That's what these are. Um, there's existing uh, studs already from the old carpet, but they screw into the floor. If you see the screw, and that's the snap, okay? And then you got your tops, you know, that snap onto this, but this will anchor into the floor of the boat in certain areas less is more and remember if you uh, you remember you always have a, a mirror image a left and a right so if you put one on the left you got to put one on the right okay think of a clock or something okay you have three o'clock you have nine o'clock you have 12 o'clock you have six o'clock always be mindful of the aesthetics when you're doing these things if you have to add a snap make sure that the adjacent side has the same um um look so that that's about it and uh you i'll show you how to do a couple snaps and then i'll cut this short so i'm not killing you uh but in this application we had the main top came over and stopped at the, at, the, at the very bottom of the windshield. Well, the bow had came up and it was short. So she had this hole there and water was getting in the boat. So I just merged it. You saw me trace it in that, I forget which video, and it comes up. And then I, I instead of putting top snaps on, I put bottom anchor snaps, gypsy snaps basically on the bottom so it just snaps on so when you go to take this she goes to you know put this on she starts in the bow 
puts the front on, puts her stand in, locks down the front, comes up here, leans over the front, and snaps her way up to here, and then walks her way out to the stern. That's how you do it. And, and it, it's outstanding. And uh, it, it's, it's efficient, it's clean, it's crisp, and it's waterproof, clearly. It rained like three inches last night. It was crazy here. And uh, this is bone dry this morning. So uh, I guess I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I'm going to show you how to do, Where? how much time, where are we at? About 15 minutes. We're at 15 minutes. Okay, we're good. Let me get down out of here. I'm going to come around here. So, if you, if you come up here. So, we will release the very front. And now, if you'll notice, if I fold this back, you see our extension pull. Look how it fits in that. See how, remember I told you it did wiggle? Look at that, that top, that ain't going nowhere. That beats any kind of snap. If you wanna put a snap in the top, don't do it. Do it like this. They'll love you and you'll love yourself if you own the boat. So what we're gonna, and then to take it out, you just, I have it set. Just pulls right out. And now, let's see what we'll do. <sighs> Boy, I'm not 22 anymore, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but I'm still carved out of wood. Don't let that fool you, boy. Oh, I could still keep up with the best of your dogs. <laughs> so, here we go. But you see that transition? See that? The whole top snaps all the way around. And then we have one, two, three, four. This is the bow. Boom, boom. Bam, bam. Snaps right on. You can push down on top of the window. Look at that. That's how it's done. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off so we got wiggle room, okay? Can you see how this, it just, it's just, it's tight, but it's still loose. This is how you want it. Why fight them? It still looks handsome. It's still, it's everything you want. You want your boat top, you know, just so tight you can't even get your pole in. I don't know, I, I fix a lot of these. It's just something that's been on my mind for quite a while. It's a top. Make it convenient for you, first of all, and it has to have the aesthetic value, of course. It has to be clean and crisp, which all of this is. Uh, so, look down in here. You'll see, you see how this, it's like a big whale tongue that comes up in here. And it comes right to the front. And I'll show you. See that down there? You see how that goes up out there? Like right around here, this, this is like a trunk. We're gonna have to put a couple extra anchors on here to get this to lay a little bit flatter because this carpet is a little bit thinner, like I, I was talking to you earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here in the bow and we're gonna center this. We're gonna put a snap in, then we're gonna come back here. And then you'll see, I might have to put one there and I might have to put one there. I probably will. They need to be there, but you can see they were very spacious. There was only like one there and then one back there, one there and then one back there. Um, it laid really flat because it was real heavy, but it held heat and she didn't want that. So I went with a thinner carpet and that will alleviate all of that. They had this, it was old school, it was from the 70s, I think, this carpet that they used. And it separated on, on the back and uh, like old, old foam and upholstery, it turns to dust. Well, and then it creates mold. So she had a lot of mold factors going on and uh, she wasn't aware of, but I'll tell her about that when I see her. So moving on, we'll, uh, we'll start with a snap up here in the front. work our way back but for the most part it's it's perfectly flat this is a great uh, this 
was a great application. This was uh, this was some good stuff here. Uh, smooth, smooth, smooth. So we have our our big bad boy snap tools. So I'll come in from here. Okay, I'll line this up on each side. Okay, I'll be mindful of it. Be mindful of it. Be mindful of what you're doing. Right to the front there. Okay. And then you always have your little piece of chalk. Okay. Well, that's kind of bizarre. It's not exactly in the middle. I know I'm too weird. Everything. I, I've... Nothing leaves my shop unless it's Rockstar, and it should be the same with you. It's perfect or it isn't, and, it, and if it doesn't look right, well, then fix it. Don't talk about it. Don't go, oh, that's good enough, because th 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 that doesn't exist in upholstery. There is no quarter. It's like, oh, you know, the customer's like, oh, that's okay. Don't worry about that. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> so they're like, hey, man, what is this? <laughs> so, you know, and plus, it's your name. And plus, you should love what you do. Upholstery is awesome. So come on up, and then we will. I, I just, I'll always stress that in my videos. You'll see me saying, you know, one shot, one kill. Do it right once. Let's do it right once. So there. And then we'll come back here. I, I, would, I would invest. This is a great um, Springer. This, 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 this is butter. This is a great tool. Ah, they ought to pay me for talking about it. You never know. But uh, it's just, you hear that? Bam! There you go. And the party's on. So, uh, <coughs> we have, we're putting on tops, uh, top snaps right now. So, and she had silver, like all the way around. She had, you know, these are all, all matching green. And uh, it just, it, if you can match the snaps to what you're doing, always do it. It's just so handsome. It really is. All right, I mean, love your customers up always. <sighs> you know, and, and plus just think of the friends that you're making also. Okay, and then remember on this tool, you can adjust, adjust it from the back. You don't want to crush your snaps. You see how this is right here? How that mushroomed over? That's what you're looking for. You don't want to crush these, you know? So bam, snap, we're in. Okay, we've got a couple pebbles in here. I should have vacuumed this out. Her boat was pretty grubby when she brought it here to me. That's okay, I forgive her. I might come back here in a minute. And remember I told you about the anchors? These? Okay, I'll probably come back and put one here and put one here so she has three up here. It's just, I would want three. So I'll come back and do that for her. Um, these are, and I won't charge her for these, you know, but generally speaking, this is always extra. Everything you do costs money. These aren't free. I have to pay for these, you know, these are $40. For, and, uh, but I like her. She's a, uh, she's a nice lady. And what's a couple things here and there? I don't care. It's not always about money. You know, don't let money rule your life. You, you got to make a living and whatnot, but uh, let God rule your life if you're smart. Just saying, in my little hole, you see me in my little hole? What's up? Okay, so moving on. <coughs> you pull it back, you got your one anchor snap. You pull it back, you get it flat. I'm going to come back and put a couple of those anchors right here and here. But for now, I'm going to, but see how I'm splaying it out? You start and work your way back. Cause I already know it fits, okay? It's an exact 
duplicate of the other one. But beings that it's a thinner carpet, I got some, some ripple around the edges in my binding, okay? My one inch tape, that's why this is happening. It's not real heavy and real thick and it has a weight of its own. So, it, but, but, but like I said, it, it was a heat thing. This won't be as hot on their feet as that big thick thing with that old school, it was like a, almost like a foam. Uh, you don't want that in, in your boat because yeah, it was hot on their feet like they were on some pavement or something. So this won't happen with that. That's over. Um, I'm going to cut you loose on this, but you just go, you start in the front and then you go bam, 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 bam. And you, and you push it out. Make sure you, that you're hugging your perimeters. You're not exceeding them. Make sure it lays right. This will explain itself to you. Most upholstery will. Okay, be mindful of what you're doing and be confident. Don't be afraid to put a staple down. Don't be afraid to put a snap down. Your eye will tell you, okay? So I'm Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. I'll do a short video once this is finished and show you. But for the most part, this boat's done. Ah, uh, peace be with you. God be with you. I'll see you around like a donut.